Hi class, Dan in the field. I'm at Lake Duran, um, which actually is not technically a lake. It's a pond. Well, how do you know what a pond or a lake is? I don't know if there's complete agreement on it. A um, couple things you might notice is there is an awful lot of plant growth that you would see at a pond. So you have these tall things that are called cattails. You see this green um, plant on the bottom that's called lemna or duckweed, um, real common pond species. Ponds generally very shallow. They tend to get very warm, especially in the summer. Um, and the type of life that's there um, tends to be very bountiful. So it tends to generally be a lot of diversity. So the intent here, in fact, is I'm gonna take a sample with my bucket, some of this water, I'm not going in, and I'm gonna bring it back to the classroom and we're gonna make observations, particularly with a microscope. Um, the goal will be to identify creatures that are there that would be in a pond such as this, and then try to figure out if we can create a map to show the energy relationships all the way from the sunlight. Doesn't seem sunny, right? But it's bright, it's there, to the creatures that do photosynthesis, which we call producers, which you see many of here all around me, okay? and then all the creatures down in the water, um, all the way down to the fish level and maybe even to the mammal level, okay? So we'll see what we find uh, back at the classroom. Bye now.